Dati, tinatapon lang natin ito sa highway, sa mga kalsada. Hindi na namin alam kung saan itatapon ito. Rice millers would like us to solve. Tons of rice has been unused. Field Rice has been studying uh, waste uh, to energy since the beginning of Field Rice. That early we already started uh, doing some research on using rice husk as a source of energy in the form of heat. The price of fossil fuels then were already in increasing. That prompted us to use the byproduct of rice production that will be useful for farmers as well as uh, the rural households. We were developing uh, the Maligaya rice hull stove. This used rice as fuel. Before we were approached by uh, rice millers to uh, give solutions to the problems. Being a rice miller, uh, malakas kami ang produce ng pa. Uh, Nag-consult kami sa Field Rice. Sabi namin, uh, we are in need of your help na marami ka pong ipa. Ano ba ang meron na pwede natin gawin dito? So, Field Rice, Dr. Tadeo, and other researchers uh, uh, nag-usap-usap. Nag marami kaming naisip, pero ang pinaka-effective na existing is the power plant. We ventured through a project which was called uh, Enhancing the Energy Efficiency of Rice Mills in the Philippines. We intensified the campaign for biomass to energy production. By 2006, we, we have produced the 10 feasibility studies in different sites in the country. They produced one particular feasibility, specific feasibility study for San Jose. At yun ang naging basihan namin o ng pagkupukat ng itong power plant na ito. So you burn the rice husk, they produce heat. And this heat can be used to heat, say, water. So you have a boiler. The boiler is heated uh, and then and made into steam. So this steam can drive a steam turbine. And the turbine is uh, attached to the generator. So the motor produces electrical energy. Para lang tayong nagluluto sa ano, takure. The water when it boils uh, produces steam and that steam drives the turbine that turns the alternator or generator to produce electricity. Those being constructed in the Philippines are more efficient and can run as, uh, as low as uh, 1 to 1.2 tons per hour to produce 1 megawatt. In the long term, talaga savings ang ibibigay nito. Rice has is carbon neutral when it comes to energy production. Instead of using fossil fuels, which produce more carbon dioxide. Renewable siya, so hindi siya nakakapag-increase ng greenhouse gases. We believe that renewable energy can partly solve the electricity problem in the Philippines. Meron tayong uh, power crisis, na parang deficiency dito sa Philippines. So, adding 12 megawatt power plant, uh, nakakapagbawas tayo doon sa mga deficiency na yun, hindi tayo nagre-rely masyado, which means nakabawas tayo ng pagbili. Lumalakas ang peso over dollar. Bababa ang goods. So yung dollar na yun, magagamit natin sa ibang industry. Rice us, you, if you burn the rice us through the power plant, you can produce electricity, but for, but for uh, wind and solar, no? Kung kailan may init, dun lang nakakapag-produce ng electricity. Kung may hangin, hydro naman. Kung may tubig, okay. Pag wala, tagara, wala na naman. Still, biogas or any waste, rice us for that matter is... Yun ang advantage niya over the others. Nakakapagbigay ito ng workforce. Isang opera uh, operation workforce. Tapos nakakapagbigay din ito ng construction workforce. Nakakapagbigay din ito ng benefit dito sa local area. Dahil syempre, pagka kumita yung planta, Mabayad tayo ng taxes. Pupunta rin naman yan sa municipalities and sa government.
during that time, wala pang value ang rice husk. And sometimes, yung mga tao sinusunog ito. Naging mas competitive ang mga rice millers sa pagbili ng palay ng mga magsasaka because nagkaroon ng value yung mga rice husk. Ang samusin ngayon, may, may assurance na ng kuryente, industry, commercial, na bibinipitan lahat ng mga households. Ang dami, ang dami niyang benefits. Overwhelming ang tulong na magagawa nitong planta. It is only during this this uh, decade that we can see connection of agriculture to energy wherein uh, farmers can fully participate in the production of electricity. Rather than uh, wasting the agro residue, there is now a potential to use it for uh, energy generation. What we need to do is really fully harness the potential of these agro residues or uh, energy crops. Whatever energy we can produce from the farm should be harnessed. We also plan to find businessmen or entrepreneurs who would be willing to take up our technology. Uh, we have an approved uh, expansion, another 12 megawatt at the back of this uh, plant. In the future, we are welcoming uh, OJTs, trainings, to empower local engineering students. We thank Phil Rice for initiating these projects. We hope that the Phil Rice Foundation, Phil Rice, and uh, other uh, agencies uh, in the rice industry uh, can help. When time comes that fossil fuel is gone or very, becomes very expensive, I think what we did here at Phil Rice with regards to utilizing byproducts like rice hull will be better appreciated in the future.